Your goal as a football team prior to the draft is to try to fill every hole that you possibly can to try to meet every need of your football team. So when you head into the draft, it can really be best player available because that gives you a lot more flexibility uh, when it comes to your draft board and so on and so forth. And it seems as if the Ravens so far, they may be really taking that approach and really trying to hit on some needs, at least defensive wise so far uh, when it's come to free agency. Of course, they signed Marcus Williams, which was, oh, whoa. They tried to get Emmanuel Ogba. It obviously didn't work out. Um, and now they have Eddie Goldman, a uh, former defensive tackle, nose tackle from the Bears, uh, who was released. They are scheduled to have him in for a visit come Friday. So, of course, with um, when I watch him, he was a former second round pick from FSU, uh, and he was on his second contract with the Chicago Bears, but they released him. Um, he's a, a run stuffer. Good run stuffer. As far as interior pressure, uh, not so much. Um, but he's a run stuffer. And the Ravens right now, like, their defensive line, not even that it's in shambles. It's just there's some big vacancies there. Like, Brandon Williams. Like, you've had Brandon Williams for a while now. He's been clogging up the middle for a little minute. Uh, but he's gone. He's gone. He, he's a free agent. And we haven't heard anything as of this recording of him being signed or any anything lined up yet, but I'm sure that will change in the near future. But you got a vacancy right there. Calais Campbell, he said that he's going to test the market, see what's out there. I, I think he'll end up going back to the Ravens, but you never know. Um, so with them bringing in Eddie Goldman, now let's think business because this could mean a couple of things. One, you got a vacancy on the defensive line like we just talked about. All those free agents. And then Derek Wolf, he's, I mean, he looked healthy when he was hunting that the deer or whatever it was that he had killed. I forgot what animal he was hunting, but he looked just fine there. So I think his back is okay. Um, but anyway, uh, it, it could be so they could feel a need on their team, like at defensive line, because you need to still stop the run. That's still what you try to do. First and foremost on defense, stop the run, stop the run, stop the run. We know that. Um, so them signing him, if they, it would be like a no-brainer because you need somebody there. But uh, another thing that it could be, because this has been done before, it will be done again. It's not new. Teams do it all the time. They may be trying to bring back Calais Campbell. They may be even trying to bring back Brandon Williams. What a lot of teams will do. If they're trying to bring somebody back and the negotiations kind of at a stalemate to put pressure on that person, they will bring somebody from the outside in on a visit to try to show that player like, hey, uh, we are not afraid to move in a different direction from you. We're not afraid to go to some other place. Hey, look, we got a replacement for you already. So you don't want to sign. OK, fine. We'll go to them. No problem. No worries. Go where you want to go. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But we saw this uh, even last year. Last year we saw it because the Ravens, this report came out that the Ravens were interested in Hassan Reddick. They wanted to bring in Hassan Reddick for a visit. And then coincidentally, right after that, days after that, they signed Tyus Bowser to his deal. It's also happened before, I remember, with uh, Nick Boyle when he was a free agent. Ravens contract talks with him, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Then they brought in Dwayne Allen, tight end from the Colts, and he was known to be a good blocking tight end. So, like, okay, Ravens going to move in another direction. Uh, uh, no, nope. A couple days later, oh, the Ravens have come to an agreement to a contract with Nick Boyle. So teams will do this. To try to bring their own back and to, to, to try to really entice their own guys to be like, ah, right, you know, <laughs> I ain't trying to get replaced. I want to stick around. So I'm a sign. Are they doing that right now? We'll see soon. We out.